Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right, we're on Facebook. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Hi. We're not on the air, but we're on Facebook. Give me intro music. Hey, intro music is good. I know. That's nice. Yep. Keeping it festive. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the 425 Show, your place to be for all things real estate and lifestyle related here on the East Side. I'm your host, Nicole Mangina, with Windermere Real Estate. Uh, November stats are out. I always like to keep you updated on the market. They are out. We will have um, all of this on the website after the show, NicoleMangina.com forward slash podcast. Uh, but some good things to note. Um, rates are at about 3.7%. And we've talked about this before. You know, there's a lot of things that go into affordability for houses. Price is a big one, but rates is another one. Rates are down almost a full point from last year, which means for the same dollars, you actually have about 12% more buying power, which means you can buy 12% more in terms of purchase price to end up with the same mortgage payment. I think that's interesting. If you're thinking about buying, it's always good to run through things with your mortgage broker because they will break them down in your specific terms, but always nice when rates are lower. And the November pendings are up 20% from this time last year. The number of homes that sold in November, 20% more in 2019 versus 2018. Most important thing as sellers, buyers want turnkey houses. Uh, we are out of the phase where you can kind of sell anything in any condition. You probably can, but you're going to take a pretty p big price hit. Uh, buyers really want something that's move-in ready. They're willing to pay for it, and they are also more than willing to pass on something that's not. If you've got real estate on the brain, I encourage you to reach out. I am always happy to help. You can find me via email, Nicole at NicoleMangina.com. There you go. Without further ado, I'm excited to introduce today's guest, Jenny Heiberger. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Good. Thank you for being here. You are you are a wealth of information. We are going to talk about all things 425 and then some today, but we have been good friends for it. You are my friend. Over a decade now. Yes. I know. I know. We met when our boys were in T-Bone. Yes. Which was a while ago. Uh -huh. um, and then your husband beamed my child and brought over an ice cream sandwich. There you go. All from there. <laughs> We've been best friends ever since. Yeah. Nothing says, I'm sorry I hit with you with a baseball Aww. like ice cream. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's lasted. I think your husband has had to do that now for the rest of his baseball coaching career. Yes. He has. Uh -huh. In fact, yeah. kids actually want to be on his team and they're in the dugout. He doesn't coach anymore. The boys are out of it. But when he was in it, they would sit in the dugout and like weigh the pros and cons. You know, the kids are like, I kind of hope I get hit because I really want the ice cream. Yeah. And then there's the other kids that no amount of ice cream is worth getting hit for. But I would say the majority yeah. were actually looking forward to getting hit by the baseball. I mean, you the know. fact that Ian kept playing baseball, that was a, you know, at least through second, third grade. I mean, that was that's there good. Go. That speaks to Gary's coaching career. He's a good positive. coach. Yes. Uh -huh. He is great with kids. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. You are my friend. You are my confidant. You were the person that so kindly took my phone call at 1030 at night when Alex broke oh. his leg. And I'm like, they're putting him in ambulances and this is what they want to do. Or, so I need somebody to tell me if this is the right thing. Well, you were yeah. my person. Oh. Thank you for that. <laughs> that meant Sometimes a lot. you need someone to talk you down. Right? Exactly. Or no. It's all good. Yes. And it kind of fits with what you do because you are a nurse practitioner with Bellgrove yeah. OBGYN here yes. on the east side. I've been an NP now for 15 years, mm -hmm. uh, a little over 15. And I've been at Bellgrove in Bellevue. Um, well, I'll be there almost 12 years starting the beginning of next year. So um, I see patients twice a week, but mm -hmm. it's been a great practice. Um, it's OBGYN. Mm -hmm. So. Basically, patients range anywhere from about 12 to um, 70s, 80s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely people. That's I've had great. some people that have followed me since I graduated from my nurse practitioner school. So I was at Planned Parenthood for a short while. Oh, that's and then great. I had some family practice. And I've had, so I've watched people grow up. Like, you know, they were in high school, then they were in college, then they got married, then they had babies. Mm -hmm. and, it's yeah. Good. yeah, and I think anything when you're, especially, you know, as people go through babies and things, anything when you're involved with a pretty important part of people's lives is a pretty cool thing. Right? Yeah, you were well, and that was, some cool relationships. Yes, and that was part of the reason, like, for me, I work in clinic. I don't work in the hospital, mm -hmm. and I see the same people every year. Right. And sometimes it's once a year, and sometimes it's once a month, right? Mm -hmm. But 
I feel like I get to know them and I see them all over the place. So I'm at the grocery store, I'm at, you know, Nordstrom's yes. or whatever. And there's patients everywhere. There you go. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So let's talk a little bit about women's health. What okay. should people know? Um, I think it just depends on what age you are, mm -hmm. right? Sure. Um, I think it's really important just to stay up on your own health. And it doesn't matter who you see particularly, mm -hmm. but, um, and I mean that in such a way as if you focus on Western medicine or mm -hmm. more non-traditional or non-Western mm -hmm. medicine or Eastern medicine, I think it's just very important to stay up on your own health. It's just part of your own self-care. Sure. Right? I mean, you take your car in to get washed mm -hmm. and get the oil changed. You, you know, take your kids to see their doctor um, or you take them to school every day. You wash your hair, you get your hair cut or colored or whatever. Mm -hmm. Take the time, go get a mammogram once a year. You know, one in eight women will get breast cancer. Yeah. Right? And early detection is the key. Yeah. Absolutely, mm -hmm. right? Just take the time for yourself. I mean, it's just that's something that you should do. Dot the I's and cross the T's and take care of your own body. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think it takes a mix, and that's one of the things you're great at. You are a Western medicine trained yes. person. Yeah. But you also acknowledge and are into integrating you yeah, know, absolutely. alternative medicines. There's a time and a place for everything, I believe, in life. Yes. So, um, but they all do serve their purpose and are of value. Right. I mean, I there are 16 patient rooms in our office. I could have 16 rooms full of all different people, mm -hmm. and we could do, and they could have all the same essential diagnosis, mm -hmm. but we could do 16 different things for them. Sure. So I think that's one other thing is don't be afraid to come in and say, I, I don't want to do this, but I want to do something else, because I think if you find the right healthcare provider, whatever reason. Mm -hmm. specialty that is I mean whether it's like ortho for Alex right now right. or whatever um, that you have someone who's willing to work with you and and you know willing to plan in mm -hmm. a way that you want it planned right because it's all about quality of life for sure absolutely yeah. and that's one of the things I adore about you as a friend um, but I know also makes you really good at what you do is you um, you're incredibly intelligent and you are a wealth of information in many, many things. Um, and you are also really good at combining all of that into figuring out a good next step, whether that's with your clients, life, all kinds of things. Oh, well, we try. This yes. is why I was trying, I was making my little list. I today. know, I and love I, it. And I had to divide it in three, I had to divide it in three sections. There was yourself, your house, and food. And like things to do, right? Really, what more is there? Four, to, but, yeah, uh, that's okay. <laughs> we'll get them all covered today. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, because you are, and that's the other reason I was so excited to have you on the show is uh, you're a wealth of information. You are definitely one of my go-to. Hey, Jenny, this is what I'm trying to figure out. Who do I call? <laughs> you're like, check your phone. I'll text you. <laughs> Versus, so for everyone who knows this, so Nicole also has wealth of lists. So if you ever need a painter, a carpet guy. Yes. Someone to help you with your roof, your lawn, your what? You can get all yes, of this. Yes, we have complimentary so. lists, so uh -huh. uh, we're a good team. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about some of your people. All right. Well, so first I would say that mm -hmm. you know, talking about yourself, right? right? So when you're getting yourself ready for the holidays mm -hmm. or vacations, there's all kinds of things you can do, right? Yes. Some of them don't cost money, and some cost a lot of money, but there's all kinds of stuff you can do. Yes. So the first thing I would say is our practice, even though it's OBGYN, mm -hmm. um, my friend and coworker, Laura mm -hmm. Zachary, who's the PA in the office, she and I both do laser for hair removal and for vein therapy, oh, um, sure. treating spider veins and stuff like that. So that's certainly something that you can look on our web website, which is spellgrowobgyn.com. And I think you're putting all the websites up. Yes. Um, yes. We will have links to everything because this is, you're going to want to have a pad and pen ready today or just check the website after the show because there's going to be a lot here yeah that people we're will. dropping lots of information today. yes um exactly. but so we'll do we can do laser hair removal so start now if you're thinking about summer vacations yes yeah. or who's going to make it till summer it's dark or at spring break or whatever right <laughs> yes. yeah so fyi okay <laughs> plan ahead uh-huh so that's so self so um laser hair removal mm -hmm. hair yes. right so think about getting your hair done. Like, yes. there's lots of parties yours coming up. Yours looks amazing Thank today, you. by the way. I know. I so the gentleman who's been doing my hair for years and years, his name is Eric Berger, and he's got a salon up um, on Beardsley in Bothell. It's oh, called great. Fine. And 
and uh, yeah, he's been up there uh, now. He's in a new spot for the mm -hmm. last, I believe, six months, maybe a little bit less. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, they're always looking for new clients on the north end. So perfect. What's the yeah. name of his salon again? It's Refine. Refine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so that one they will be do on great the work. Too. Eric's a phenomenal guy. Yes. Definitely. And so he see. met me this morning at like seven thirty. So see, and uh -huh. that's the other thing. We know good people that will go the extra mile for you. Yeah, and he's done that mm -hmm. for years and years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And so getting hair done before a party, yes. getting your makeup done, and there's lots of places to go and do that. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that you can always do, exactly. <laughs> I think. See, just We're just you jealous because we haven't do. got our appointments yet. Yeah, uh -huh, exactly. And I, I know, I know. And it's, it's refinedbothel.com, by the way. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, yes. This is, um, see, this is good there. timing for the holidays. There. You need to know this for your parties. All right, <laughs> yeah. Okay. And um, getting your makeup done, one of the ways you can do that, just save money, mm -hmm. is actually going to any makeup counter. Yes. Um, the people are obviously there and learning, but take pictures. So bring in pictures like off of Instagram yes. or out of a magazine that you like. Mm -hmm. And um, try to match your eye color, your hair color, right? And then those people are learning too, and they're happy to take the time to teach you. Um, obviously, they're hopeful that you'll buy their product and stuff, but right. you know, it's a good way to get. It's a super good way to do it. Yeah, done. it is. A, even right, like you said, like I know Nordstrom, you can go in and they will gladly do your makeup. But if you're doing it this time of year, it's a good idea to stop by beforehand and make an appointment because mm -hmm. um, it's it's not so easy to just buzz in at five o'clock before a party and hey can somebody do my makeup right. that may not happen but go make an appointment and it's fun I'm a yeah. fairly conservative makeup person um, so I love it when somebody else does my makeup because yeah. they always do something I would never have done and it's fun you get to be a little girl and play dress up and it's I know. great well especially in houses like ours where we're outnumbered by all of the boys I mean even my dog and my cat are boys so it's... Uh, we're finally even we've got uh, me and then our two girl dogs and then Three, know, four, yeah. three and three. I know. I'm I still outnumbered. I always will be. <laughs> um, so other stuff. So think about taking care of your skin, especially mm -hmm. now it's winter. Skin is really dry. People get really um, irritated skin right now. Um, and so estheticians are out there. So uh, mm -hmm. Deanna Turner is at EYA, which is Every You Aesthetics. Mm -hmm. And she can do all kinds of services for folks, but she's a great esthetician. Um, Nikki Vasagi is at Bellevue Laser and Derm. Okay. Um, she also has a large practice. She she does laser um, therapy things um, that people are probably familiar with, like BBL mm -hmm. or IPL, consider resurfacing. Sure. Um, I know that a lot of people want to have that like bridal look. You know? Yes. <laughs> so um, we want to be young and dewy for forever. <laughs> right. Yeah. So and makeup can do that a little bit, but sometimes it's nice to go. And yeah. Some people. Plus, just taking care of your skin. We have the sixth. At least the last time I read, we had the sixth highest rates of skin cancer in the nation in Washington State. Really? Yeah. Because people don't wear sunscreen up here because sure. they just assume that there's no sun. And have I am guilty of that for yeah. sure. But the um, cl it's so cloudy a lot of times, especially in the summer. Mm -hmm. That that filters the UV rays. So the UV rays that you're actually getting are a lot stronger. Or people oh, are out sure. of the lake and they get reflected UV mm -hmm. off of the you know. Yeah from Lake Washington. Well, and that happens to me a lot in baseball season, right? You leave the house early in the morning when it's not super sunny. I think, oh, it won't be that sunny today and three baseball games into the day. I'm thinking, mm, things are a little crunchy. I should have <laughs> planned differently. <laughs> Skin got a little too much sun. I um, just, okay, so Nicole and I go on lots of vacations. Too. Yeah. Nicole's like my travel partner. We are partners in crime when and, it comes to travel. And I love how like I walk out to the swimming pool and I'm like doused from like head to toe in sunscreen. Like I, I mean, it's bad. Right, like no, it's good. It's what but, I should be doing. But Nicole's like this beautiful Italian skin, right? I'm like, yeah, that's not happening. Yeah, although I will say I never had a sunburn until I got to Washington State. Yeah, um, and it's I think it's I think it's the high. The sun is more intense than we realize. I also think my skin never got as pale as it has since I moved to Washington mm -hmm. State because I was always uh -huh. in areas where yeah, it's not like you're out tanning in the middle of winter anywhere really, but. Um, Anyway, yeah, I know. sunburns, Washington State, it was a new thing. Yeah. Uh, and I, th I do think skin care, a lot of us put it in the luxury category, but it really is pretty important to go see these people and put, the, you know, a little effort into maintaining their sunscreen. sunscreen. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I mean, uh, my dermatologist is uh, Kelly Stevens. She's up at Struther mm -hmm. in Kirkland. I love Kelly. She's yeah. great. Yeah, and I think she would, she'd be the first person to tell you you need to have sunscreen and everything you with. Yes, all day, every day, you know. So exactly, yeah. She's a, and, yeah, and I saw her over the weekend, and she made the comment of you know skincare now is as we get into our 
well, I'm well into my 40s. So it's not like I just got there. But, um, you know, now it's about <laughs> maintaining, right? 40s can do 20, Nicole. Okay. There you go. I'm going with it. <laughs> but you want to maintain your skin, right? Mm -hmm. So that it doesn't, you know, wherever it ends up, hopefully it's good. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. All right. Okay. So what other stuff did I put down? Oh, yes. So one of the things you can do, so I get crazy at the holidays as far as like at time wise. Sure. Between trying to wrap gifts, get kids around, do all that stuff. So I did something that has worked for years and years, which is I find my own elf. And, this is genius. And I, so most high school kids are just looking for extra money at the holidays mm -hmm. because maybe they're going out or they're sure. whatever, maybe yeah. they're buying their own gifts. But um, so for us, the next door neighbors had young ladies who one is now in high school, but mm -hmm. the ones are older or the kids across the street. And I would just pay a certain amount of money and have them help me wrap gifts. Sure. And it wasn't much. I mean, I, you know, it's like, can you come over for like three hours, mm -hmm. help me wrap gifts? What do you want? And it was like 20 or $25, but it sure. was worth it to have extra pair of hands. Absolutely. Or to pay the, you know, a certain amount of money per hour to have them take the boys out of the house so I could have time in the house. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's one of those things that if you have the ability to do it, it's kind of like what we were talking about with houses, right? Sure. People want turnkey. They don't want somebody, they don't have to take the time to fix stuff up right now. Right. Right? Yeah. So it's the same thing, I think, as far as like with your house mm -hmm. and the holidays, right? Yes. So I love that. Hire an elf. Genius. Yeah. And kids always are looking for extra time and yeah to do, especially if they're not driving exactly you know, have a way to make money too mm -hmm. right okay um let's see uh oh home stuff yes let's talk home okay. stuff. so the christmas light <laughs> guy can help you yes. with christmas lights which is i think it's a good way to it's a good use of dollars for sure yeah um and he has a facebook page and he's super reasonable and basically mm -hmm. he'll if you don't have lights he can buy them for you and that's like a one-time charge and then you just I mean we just keep them in a tub yeah and stick them in the attic right and bring yes. them down and then um, but yeah he'll call you schedule a day a time and put the lights up for you and then put them on a timer where that works for you mm -hmm. and then schedule a time to take them back down again but I think he most people in our neighborhood I think yeah and what's the name of your guy that you use his name is Rogelio Mora but he literally goes by the Christmas light guy and oh, I think awesome. he has a Facebook page that's okay his name. perfect so, yeah. again if you're just tuning in we're talking all things 425 today so many resources for you we'll have everything on the website after the show <laughs> nicolemangina.com <laughs> forward slash but forward slash podcast but I think Christmas light hanging uh, we were talking about this before the show I think <coughs> last week it's it's death defying you got to figure out the ladder and you're up on the roof and it is not for the faint of heart. No, well, and yeah, I was like, um, I was a very little girl when we were leaving for Christmas Eve service when we watched our neighbor fall off the roof and break his leg, and it was really like, and so yeah. watching my husband, like, he decided to hook up, like, I don't know, it was like five, ten years ago, hook uh -huh. himself up with this, like, rope and tie himself to the, the roof and, like, oh, let geez. himself, so I'm like, oh, my God, you're going <laughs> to kill yourself. So, um, yeah, now I And just, he's a pretty I, smart, I, handy I guy, but I still someone think now. Yeah, I think the Christmas light like guy is the way to go. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then things like uh, getting a Christmas tree. Yes. So, and there's lots of places that do that as a fundraiser. So, yes. Um, as far as east side goes, I mean, most of the things I know about are on the northeast side. Sure. So I'm sure there's other resources that people need to mm -hmm. look at. But like Kiwanis has their yes. lot at um, Juanita mm -hmm. Beach Park. Um, St. John Vianney has their yes. lot, and I know that those that goes for their youth group is going on a mission trip. Yeah, Mexico, oh, nice. building homes in Mexico mm -hmm. or something like that. So yeah, great way um, to support a local charity. Oh yeah, your tree, flower stuff. There's a lot of people like to yes. put flowers. I love flowers in the house. Yeah, they're so pretty. Yeah, and there's so many different choices right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously, you can go by yourself to the market. But mm -hmm. I know um, Betty Walton, who's at Daisy and Wish. Okay. Um, she is online, um, and she also has a. Uh, Instagram like flowers by Betty. Oh sure. And she will come to you. Right. And you know, I think a lot of people sometimes are like, I want to have flowers, but I don't know what to have. You don't have to design it yourself. It's no. Not, it's not a point and click. So she can come to your house and say, you know, this would look good in this place, and this might look good mm -hmm. here. Um, and what a great service if she comes to your house to do that. Yes. And then I think she also, and this is something just for people who have businesses. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of 
times when she will come and you know how hairdressers will like oh, change sure. out their flowers in their salons mm -hmm. or you know you know businesses at sure. their desks she does that too oh great yeah so Perfect. um Another pro tip if you want to do nice flowers in your home is you they will use the vases or containers that you already have. Yeah. They'll and supply that's what she them does. for sure, but yep. I mean you can save yourself ten to fifteen dollars in arrangement if you just supply your own container and you know yeah. I usually I want something bright or colorful, it's for this or that, and then they usually take it from there and yeah. um, it's awesome. Yeah. So And for people I know you have your glassy babies that you really I like. Do. If people them. have like specialty candles and things like that, I know mm -hmm. that that's one way that you can Retask those. You don't yes, just have to they make candles. great containers for yeah. flowers, yep. especially for tablescapes because you want something lower anyway. Right. Yeah. Um, other stuff for your house. Well, your dog, your dog, your cat. I mean, yes. like you have two pretty low maintenance puppies that just can jump in the lake if they want to, right? Or get, <laughs> yeah, get I hose them off in the shower. Uh -huh, get, get hose down. <laughs> um, for our puppy now, he has to go to the groomers. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. got getting your appointments just like you would get a hair appointment. Yes. Your dog needs to have an appointment to get a, you know, yes. it's hair trimmed or whatever. Um, and then we both use the same dog walker. Yes, and she, Julie Liebeck. She's yes, awesome. Yes, Julie's great. And so it's heartstrings pet sitting. And yes. again, she will come to you. She will come to your home. She has tiny dogs and big dogs. And she takes care of cats. And she's been, oh gosh, I met Julie when her now high school senior was still in the little carrier oh, backpack. Sweet. Corey was uh -huh. three months old. Oh my goodness. When she started walking Jake for me because I was working night shift at the hospital at the time. So um, <coughs> Yeah, she is Wrigley's favorite person of all times. Yeah. Yeah. And so Wrigley's Julie's great like, and goes she's, crazy when Julie comes. Yes. And I know that she's booked for Christmas, mm -hmm. but I think she still has a, openings over you know yes. New Year's and for people who have kids and you're leaving town, uh, I trust Julie with Oh, everything. Yeah, same. She has free reign of our house. She comes when we're not there. Yes, yeah, great for if you need walking on a daily or a couple times a week yeah. basis, she can do that. Or you're going on a trip and you need someone to step in while you're gone. Yes. Julie's awesome. Yeah. And she now gives my cat like his meds. Oh, sweet. I know. The <laughs> little <has>. gato. <laughs> I know. <laughs> little big gato. Yeah, yeah I know. Well, that too. <laughs> Rules of roost. But um, yeah, so she can give medicines. She's a vet tech. Great. Uh, she has her license to do that too. So. Oh, perfect. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, Julie's your gal. Yes. So we'll put her on the website too. Absolutely. Um, I think that's the house stuff. Well, you know more about other house stuff. So yeah. Yeah. People need to call you about other house stuff. I know, but this is all the good, this is the good juicy stuff. Making um, your house look pretty with flowers and oh yeah, holiday well, lights. And, and Betty, this, I mean, it's just amazing. She's amazing. I, I know I've had her do our flowers for a long time as well. Yeah. She just does beautiful things. Nicest gal ever. So. Yes. Sweet. Um, if you're thinking about having a party or having people mm -hmm. over, small to big, mm -hmm. try not to cook. Take your time yes. off of yourself. So it's another one of those like time is money things. If you have the time to do it, great. Mm -hmm. um, if you can make the cookies and freeze them, perfect. Mm -hmm. But if you're having a lot of people over and you want to have things catered, sure. Um, I just bought lunch for my office just to say thank you for mm -hmm. the end of the year, and I got that from Daru. Oh, and Daru's so Jamie fantastic. And Cassidy, who's Daru and little brother. Mm -hmm. um, to check out their website. Yes. Um, if nothing else, just serve cake. Get one of their cakes. Oh, yeah. People will love you forever. <laughs> yes. Salted you can serve peanut nothing butter, else. chocolate cake, yes. coconut cake. Yes. Uh, yeah. Show up with a Daru cake and you're in. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. um, how, <laughs> I know they're always like, this is for eight. I'm like, it's this big around. Uh, like, it's I, for like 18. Yeah. But who's counting? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, you know, the grocery stores, Metropolitan Market, QSC, yes. um, Safeway, they all do trays of varying shapes and sizes. They do. Um, yeah. But yeah, just, you know, think about taking time off of yourself. To, Absolutely. Um, and you know what? A lot off. of it is often, Cactus also does a phenomenal, like they're, you can get a taco bar to go from them and it's everything. It's the chips and the guac and all the yes. sides and everything. I actually, you know, sometimes when I go look at those things, I think, gosh, that's really expensive. But I often find, let's say I do decide to make everything. Mm -hmm. By the time I've gone to the grocery store and bought everything, I think it's like a $5 difference. It's to, to go, you know, really shop for a party because you usually want to make something a little special so the ingredients are more expensive. There's not that much of a difference cost-wise often. Well, for me, a lot of times it's a storage place, right? By the time right. I get home, I'm trying to put everything in the fridge, yes. make sure it doesn't spoil. You know, and then planning out the time to like cook everything mm -hmm. so that 
I can have time to spend with people that I actually wanted to have at my house. That's the thing. I so guess you opened your house. The dishwasher, yes. the sink, and the oven. To have people over, you want to be able to spend time with them. Yeah, and they want to be able to spend time with you as well. They appreciate the food, but really they came to spend time with you. Right. So They don't want to look at your backside or your apron all day. Right? Exactly. No. So it yeah. makes me sound like Beaver Cle Cleaver's mom. June, June Cleaver. June Cleaver. You are a pretty good cook, though, I will no. say. <laughs> I've There's been to your house for dinner. It is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's very sweet. I'm learning to take compliments. Uh, yes. I'm trying to get better at I it. Know. <laughs> um, well, let's see. Other stuff I was going to put Ooh. down. So we did food. We did home. Oh, I forgot to mention the folks at like Fly Fitness, like having a oh, trainer. Oh, yes. So... Like yeah. our friend Christy mm -hmm. Kajano is yes. a trainer there. She's a great personal trainer. So there's lots of personal trainers there. So somebody they like are. Fly Fitness is local. That's a good local business yes. to think about. Love supporting local businesses. Yes. They have all kinds of great different types of workouts and stuff. And Christy's yeah. amazing. She really knows her stuff. Yes. And she looks good. So I'm pretty sure if you just go <laughs> hire house. her for a couple hours a week, you'll look like her. Trust me, it'll be worth it. Yeah, she looks amazing. Good, good makeup tips. If <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we all secretly want to look like Christy. <laughs> <laughs> She's amazing. Uh -huh. Yes, we love you, Christy. Yep. Uh -huh. um, her husband, Mark, is a local dentist. Oh, yes. And he does cosmetic dentistry. So that's Seattle's best smiles. And he's in Kirkland. Yes. So you can check out Mark's website, yes. too. Dr. Mark. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, awesome. And then I just put a little thing down there about, you know, we always talk about giving gifts this yes. time of year and that doesn't matter what you religion you identify mm -hmm. with or who you are but um and saying thank you so just yes. for making sure that people know that it's it's a good time of year to say thank you to yes. the people that do things for you year round yes so um the guy who cuts the lawn or the landscaper mm -hmm. or the hairdresser or um, anybody who does a constant service for you yes. um and i know sometimes like in our practice i have people come in and they say you know it's no, nope, you're good. Keep oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Yes, people. Is it okay to? Yeah. You know, bring a gift, bring a thing. Yeah, it's yes. fine. I mean, we always appreciate it, is it nice but it's super people. appreciative to do that for the people that do things for you year round. Yes. Right. And then to consider giving a gift that's not a physical present. Yes. So give to something like Lifewire on the East Side, yes. East Side Domestic Violence. So or Bellevue Life Spring, Hope Link. Yeah. Work in the pantry, fill the pantry packs, give to the homeless, yeah. go to Mary's place. Lots of great things, especially with kids to yeah. do. So many amazing resources today. Oh, we covered a lot. Um, we will have links to everything on the website <laughs> after the show. One stop shopping. We've got you covered. Thanks for joining Thanks us on the everybody. 425 show today. Happy Bye. holidays. Happy New Year.